Hey everyone, you're watching Lock Outdoors and welcome to the Roku Experience. A wet, rainy experience, but an experience nonetheless. <laughs> So one of the things that no one will ever be able to say about me is that I'm a fair weather hiker. I love getting outside no matter what weather it is and, and what time of year it is. I absolutely love it. So today uh, I'm just going to go for a short hike and I'm going to make some tea. And I figured with the uh, wet weather and the rain I'll get some practice trying to get a fire started in these conditions. So uh, stick around. Let's see what we can do. Don't always be waiting for the best weather to get outside. Get outside in the bad weather sometimes too. Get yourself used to it. Become comfortable in it. Because it's going to rain. It's going to get cold. And some days you just got to know how to deal with it. So good practice. Get outside no matter when, what the weather is. Well, I decided to come down to camp regardless of the weather conditions. I just got off of work last night. And I just wanted to get out of my house. And uh, so I decided to hike on down in the rain here and just uh, have a cup of tea here at the camp and just to see how it's still holding up after a full week of being left outside now. So let's get the boil up started, shall we? <laughs> well, the first thing I'm going to do is going to get all this rain gear off so it's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, so yeah, underneath the tarp here, it's actually really dry. Everything is dry. The ground is dry. The twigs are dry. Holding up pretty good. So yeah, let's get that uh, kettle started, shall we? Let me get this off. So, one of the biggest, now, don't get me wrong, I love this little Vortex stove. It's a Tom Shoe portable camp stove. I love it. It's done its job for me. But the worst thing about any of these types of stoves is that it requires a tiny amount of fuel to fit in here. And you need a lot of it, so you're constantly feeding it. But once you get it going, it goes pretty good. So 
So originally I was coming down here over the next couple of days to start raising the bed and putting some more things in here. But uh, today I'm just coming down for a cup of tea to get out of the house. It's been a hard week at work. And this is the only place that I feel where I'm successful. Even though I know I'm not completely unsuccessful. But here, I like how I feel about myself. So I'm going to make a little bit of blueberry tea. Seeing I don't have any coffee with me today. And as I was walking in, I, I grabbed a handful of blueberries. So I'm just going to pinch them and squeeze them in there. The juices get out. See, already my stove is starting to uh, die out from fuel that fast. So yeah, this is a Tom Shoe Camp Stove. I got this as a little gift a few years back. And uh, it works pretty well for what it is. Um, it's a good way of being able to have a controlled, contained campfire without having to be exposed to the elements, you know, like... Uh, it helps cut down on any risk of any accidental fires. Pretty small, pretty compact. But the biggest drawback with any type of stove like this, if you're using natural fuels, is you need to always have a lot of fuel on hand. Because if you put stuff that's too big in this, it, it goes out. And so you gotta put in thin, small stuff. And it burns so fast, you're constantly feeding it all the time. So this is not something that you light and then you put your pot on and go away and do something else for a while because if you come back it'll be burnt out. So there is some heavily boiled blueberries. I'm not going to pour it into the pot. Blueberry tea, guys. That's good. Oh, just when I need it. Hey everyone, welcome to Lock Outdoors. And you're... Mm. Hey, listen. Some days, no matter what the weather, you gotta get outside. Test your limits. Get used to being uncomfortable. 
Don't always wait for fair weather to go hiking. Sometimes you need a little bit of uncomfort to learn. Maybe watch a professional or two as well. Don't watch this. No professional here. Someone who just suffers.